I'm sorry. Hey guys, what's up? It's Liz, and today I will be talking about my top 10 favorite female vocalists, but I will only be saying five because this is a collaboration with my good friend Blake, who also makes videos here on YouTube. I'm sure you've heard of him. I'm sure you know him. If you don't, what the hell are you doing? Like, what? Apparently he said really nice things about me in his video, so I don't even know what he said. So I'm scared. <laughs> don't know why. Blake is the funniest person ever, except you would never know it. Also, if you guys see us comment on each other's videos, like, mean comments, we are being so sarcastic to each other. Like, that's just what we do. Really. We just leave mean comments on each other's videos, and it's funny because people defend us. <laughs> but, just so you guys know, we're not really mean to each other. We're actually, like, best friends. So, He'll be talking about his five favorite female vocalists, and I'll be talking about my five. We also did a video over on his channel, and that one is going to be top ten favorite male vocalists. You see what we did there? Pretty smart. But you guys should really go check out his videos and his channel. He does guitar and bass covers, he does album reviews, and he does like top ten videos or whatever, but he talks about music a lot, and he's really good at it too. I had to step up my game for the, his, the video on his channel, because... I can't talk about music the way he can, and I'm jealous that I can't do that, so props to you. But yeah, let's just hop right in because I need to edit this. FYI Blake, I did not film this last night, I filmed it at 10 o'clock today. Literally. Oops. The first vocalist on my list is Amber Bain, who is better known by the name The Japanese House. My love for her stems really from my kind of obsession with the 1975 as Maddie Healy and George Daniel from that band produced both of her EPs that she released last year. She relies on pretty heavy vocoder usage that warps her voice a ton, like another vocalist on the list that we'll get to later, but she does it in a much smoother effect that allows her voice to act as a synth, but not being too overpowering. Her instrumentation is mostly electronic as well, so it really blends perfectly into the background. Along with being super electronic, it's also very ambient as well. Her voice complements that motion a ton. It's very easy to get lost in her voice as it's so soothing and so smooth. I've also recently gotten very into her music and it's slowly becoming a large favorite of mine. But I think Amber sounds best on her song Teeth, Still, and Pools to Bathe In. Number one is Ansley Newman from Jewel Vera. Ansley's voice I absolutely love. When I first heard her, I remember seeing her being featured on Pure Noise's YouTube channel for their song Light Up the Night or something like that. And everyone was in the comments were comparing it to Stay the Night with Haley Williams. And literally, I can hear it, so I couldn't listen to them at first. <laughs> but after I saw them at Warp Tour for like 2.5 seconds, I instantly fell in love. Her voice live is just beautiful. And she sounds pretty similar to Chrissy Costanza. I've listened to their Friendly Enemies EP way too much. Like, it's getting to the point where may I might need to stop, but I'm not going to because I'm already hooked. But her voice is just incredible, and she can hit like these powerhouse like notes, and then she can go back to being like this soft, gentle, beautiful, like angelic singing voice, and I'm just obsessed. <laughs> I'm not like giving you an option, you have to go check them out. For me, Jewel Vera is very underrated. <laughs> Three songs that I love Ansley's voice in are Chemical Machine, Die Trying, and I love her voice with the Derricks on Around the World and Back on State Champs' album Around the World and Back. I love their voices together. They just harmonize perfectly and it's just... Uh, it just gives me chills. I just love it. Next vocalist on my list is Chrissy Costanza from the band Against the Current. Against the Current is kind of generally where I'm from, so I've seen them kind of grow up throughout their music career, and it's so wild seeing Chrissy's vocal development. At times, she can have a very delicate voice that's super soft and very airy, but she also has the ability to dial up her voice as well. I find this very rare to have both ends of the spectrum and be able to transition between them very fluidly. This allows her voice to have a ton of versatility, and against the current's earlier years, they lean more towards the alt-rock side, and that's where the power in her voice really shined through. And now as time goes on, they're becoming more and more pop influence, and so this is where the delicacy in her voice really has taken over. Overall, she's just a really versatile vocalist who does a ton of things well. And I think she sounds best on Running With The Wild Things, Fireproof, and Talk. My next one is, of course, Melanie Martinez. How could you guys not expect me to put her in this video? Like, honestly. For Melanie, Melanie's voice. I remember the first time I actually heard her, and I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Which is so weird because I'm obsessed with her now. I talk about her all the time on my channel. Her voice is so different. I remember 
seeing her audition for on I remember seeing her audition on The Voice for Toxic by Britney Spears and I was in love with it. I think I think that's how I really got into her music as I was looking up The Voice auditions or whatever because I love watching those. I don't know why. And I remember seeing her audition and I watched it over and over and then her music video popped up and I clicked on it. And I remember my friend Aubrey showing me the Dollhouse music video. Once I like rewatched it, I became obsessed. And then I found her EP and I downloaded that. And then I could not wait for her album to be released and it's already been a year since it was released. Like how insane is that? And I just love Melanie because her voice is so unique. I don't even know how to describe her voice, to be honest. And I love her style, and I love the way she writes her music, and I love everything about her. I'm just always entertained. Like, it's never a dull moment for her. So some standout tracks for Melanie for me are Tag Your It, Mad Hatter, and Mrs. Potato Head. The next vocals on my list is Sydney Sirota from the band Echo Smith. Sydney is very similar to Chrissy for me. She does the delicacy of voice thing very well. I think much better than Chrissy. But Cindy lacks that large versatility. However, her voice definitely fits the vibe of Echo Smith extremely well. I find it very hard to picture Cindy's vocals fitting into other genres, but it absolutely sounds perfect in what she does. I'm honestly surprised Echo Smith didn't blow up even more than they did with Cool Kids. I could definitely see them becoming a huge force in a lot of indie and pop circles. Even if they did take that pop turn, I still think they'd do a great job and Sydney would probably become a star. But I think she sounds best on Cool Kids, Tell Her You Love Her, and Talking Dreams. My next one is Cassidy Pope. I almost said Traverges because that's just how I say their name. A lot of you probably know who Cassidy Pope is. If you don't, she was the vocalist on Hey Monday, and now she is a country singer. She went on The Voice, she was on Team Blake, and then she did like, I don't know, she's just a country singer now. And I loved her Frame by Frame album. I was obsessed with it. Like, oh my god. I remember listening to it all the time. Cassidy's voice is just, it's so unique. It's weird that, like, her voice is perfect for country music. Her vocal range for it is just perfect. And live, she's incredible. I got to see her at Country Stampede if few months ago and I was blown away. I also had the chance to meet her and I cried but we don't need to talk about that. For Cassidy, my standout tracks are Second Hand, Cinematic, and Edge of a Thunderstorm. The next vocals on my list is a Mogan Heap, which is kind of interesting to be included with all these different vocals who are no way similar to her. She's most well known for being the hook in that one Jason Derulo song. You probably know what I'm talking about, the What You Say one but she's much better than what she's most known for. And she's that other artist that's very well known for vocoder usage that I alluded to when I was talking about Amber. She has an incredible range and is one of the more talented vocalists I think to ever exist. Just go listen to Hide and Seek. You'll probably think those are like electronic instruments in the background, but nope, it's all her harmonized vocal tones. It's absolutely unreal and mind-blowing. Like Amber, a lot of her stuff is very ambient and very electronic, and that allows her smooth vocals to almost feel instrumental. Listening to her music almost feels like being on another planet. It's, it's really incredible. She's criminally underrated, and I think she sounds best on Hide and Seek. You know where to find me in Propeller Seeds. Next is Lauren Mayberry from Churches. I remember hearing them for the first time. I don't remember who I saw talking about them. Maybe it was John from Air TV. I think what really caught my attention was that damn album art because there's so much going on. And I was like, this is funky, but I really like it. After listening to her voice, I'm just... I was mesmerized. I was just... Ugh. With her voice, it doesn't have a lot of range, but I don't know what it is. I think it's the tone of her voice that I really... That, that really catches my attention and what I really love. I don't know, I just find it very unique and it's nothing that I've heard before. And I didn't even know they were Scottish, but I guess you learn stuff when you Google them. Some standout, uh, standout tracks for Lauren are uh, Harriet, Recover, and Playing Dead. The last vocalist on my list is Lynn Gunn from Paris. Lynn is easily the most talented in the alt-press music scene, hands down, no question. Her vocals really captivate the listener and make Paris' music very special. I think she's definitely the most versatile vocalist I know of. She could honestly sing any genre and it would fit perfectly. However, I think she really excels in that electronic indie vibe that Paris has going on. But I wouldn't doubt that it, like one day we'll see Lynn be featured in some random pop song like Hayley Williams was at one point. Her and Paris are really going to blow up when they release their second album. I honestly can't wait because they have so much potential to be absolutely Absolutely huge but I think she sounds best on fire only love and let them in and number five is Savannah Hudson from the airs recently just become a became a big fan of theirs I saw them at Warped Tour this past summer and I was instantly hooked I remember hearing their song what you want that they just released this past summer I think I'm not entirely sure don't quote me on that but I just remember be, like I have listened to that song way too much that was the only song I knew from theirs when I saw them at Warped Tour and live they 
are incredible. Her voice live is amazing and I think she's, I don't know how old she is, but I know that they're very young. I just love the tone of her voice and the way her voice blends and harmonizes well, I think it's her brother, like those two voices blend and harmonize so well together that it makes me love this band even more. And they don't, I know they're just releasing music and they have an EP and they released two singles, but I still think that this band is something that you guys should check out. And her voice is just incredible and I think she's 17 years old because that's what I've found. I need to ask my friend because she knows all about them. Kristen, you need to help me. I just love her voice and it just, I just love it so much. That's all I can really say. Well, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys feel the same way that we do about our picks. Some standout tracks for Savannah are What You Want, Ecliptic, and All Right, Good Night. So guys, guess what? This video is kind of going to be an announcement too. Blake and I will be doing a monthly live stream slash podcast, literally talking all about music and just anything surrounded music. And we'll have some special guests like other YouTubers and stuff, so keep an eye out for it. We will be announcing the date a few days before, so you guys can, if you want to be there, you can plan to be there and listen and hang out. So yeah. It'll be fun. I'm super excited. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give a thumbs up and comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the video and what you'd like to see next. Go subscribe to Blake because if you haven't, what the hell are you doing? Like, what? Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I put videos at one three times a week. And you can follow me on any of my social media sites at Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Snapchat at Zbethian. It's the same way spelled on every single account. I hope you guys have a great day today and I'll see you next time. Bye.